impress them on why they should have this extra power. You are here though also as super delegates. You have this extra power under the Democratic Party rules. Not extra. Extra? It's not extra. Not extra. Go ahead. We don't have any capes. Say Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders comes in with a with enough to win, the super delegates shouldn't be able to decide right. that. But they but currently comes, have that power. But they do. You have they, that they power. They do. But there, maybe there so should be some you checks. Pledge, yes. Would you, you pledge not? Some... Would you pledge not to override a the raw will majority? Of the people? Yes. Do you think that should be the rule? But I think the, the people are going to be Hillary Clinton, who I'm pledged to now anyway. <laughs> but do so you I'm think not, that should be the rule? I don't think they I would not have a problem with that rule. Not, not at all. Would you have a problem with that rule? I don't know what rule you mean exactly. I'll, I'll tell you. Okay, I'll tell, tell you. me exactly. <laughs> that would be, you described a brokered convention scenario. Mm -hmm. Under the current rules, though, mm -hmm. technically, the superdelegates could override a raw majority of the democratically selected delegates. I don't see how 15% can override the majority, though. I mean, I'm no math whiz. I wouldn't have gone to law school if I was good at math, but it's only 15%. If the rest of the delegates are not supporting... So are you talking to 55, 49? Yeah, you could yeah. then, but not... Yeah, 55, if you 45, the majority, yeah. I would not override the wishes of the voters in South Carolina. Four politicos in a room.